Welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Jewels and Gems. I know it's been a long time. So I'm doing this uh, mukbang to kind of uh, reintroduce myself. I know, I know I've been gone for a while. Um, I'm just going to kind of talk you through the type of content that's going to be on my channel. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So today I am doing a mukbang with uh beloved song so let's say a prayer let's get into the video because i am starving okay god is good god is great and we thank him for our food by his hands we all are fed thank you lord for our daily bread amen all right so let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it i put my lemons inside the sauce so they could be able to squeeze more juice i seen her do that so that's what i did um what i have here is i have five lobster tails I have three um, ears of small corn, um, I have three potatoes, and I have and I have nine shrimp. So I'm going to try to see if I can get finished with all this. I don't know. It's kind of late. I just got off of work, so I don't know. Let's dig in. So you guys, I bet you guys are wondering why I have been at. Or maybe you're not wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So, I have been going through a lot of stuff. Let me take a bike really quick before I start talking. Yes. Get that good, good, as she say. Give me my lemon. Do that lemon rain she be ooh look at that ooh, some like a sauce awesome. mm. yeah, really so good mm. that is so good that lobster tail is so tender I cooked it in my instant pot, so it actually came out really, really tender and really, really good. <clears throat> oh, shit. Y'all got to shit them off. Christ. I almost took my eyes out. Oh, I have a mirror right there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I cooked this in my Instant Pot, so it cooked really tender. I have been wanting to try this seasoning for the longest. But I've been following Beloved for, I know, well over two, three years now. I was following her before she even had a million subscribers. I'm sorry, y'all. I got that in my eye. My eyes are just like really watering up right now. I think that's a little better. Jesus Christ. So, I was following her before she even had a million subscribers. She had like a few hundred thousand subscribers when I started um, following her. And before she even had this, uh, had her own sauce, I was following her. And so, um, when she first came out with the sauce, she had like all these ingredients that you can go by. So, that's what I used to do. I used to, I made her, um, sauce oh, i made her sauce all the time but i made it 
the original way how she showed us how to make it the original way and i'm the type of person if it's not broke don't fix it so mm -hmm, cool. so i was stubborn that's why it took me so long because i had already mastered how to fix our original sauce i already knew how to get it to my liking to my taste so I had, I was just stubborn. I just uh, didn't feel like going to buy this because I figured, like, why buy it if I already got the seasonings for the original? But this is actually really, really good. And the crazy part about it is the original recipe that I used to make is, like, pretty much point on similar to this right here. So now I don't have to go out. And spend thirty, forty dollars on all those seasoning. Mm, really good. Mm. This is good. I'm sorry, I can't even talk. So yeah, I'm oh, shrimp. All kind of stuff that's why i haven't posted no video it's like every time i get ready to do youtube it's like always something that hinders me from doing it so that's how i know there's going to be some type of blessing or outcome for me on this platform because the devil wouldn't be so busy if you know god wasn't planning something big so i keep coming back to it over and over again even though um uh, I've been gone for a couple weeks or not weeks, a couple months or whatever. But yeah, so what's been up? So first of all, excuse me, my last apartment flooded. So I ended up moving. So I ended up having to move. Not only that, I switched schedules. So I no longer have a morning schedule. I have an afternoon schedule. Like, I'm doing this video, and it's well after 10, 11 o'clock at night. So, that kind of messed up my schedule because in the morning times, of course, when I wake up, it's like take a shower, eat breakfast, then go to work. And it's like I'm at work all day. And then by the time I get off, it's like I just want to shower and go to bed. But I'm no longer going to do that because... How am I going to accomplish my goal if I don't set forth the effort? You know, sometimes you got to do the stuff that you don't want to do in order to achieve your ultimate goal. So anyways, now that I am, now that I am settled in and um, I've moved on my schedule, I'm set settled in with my schedule I'm settled in with my new apartment and everything I'm definitely going to be I'm trying to at least upload videos like once a week because let's be better since I don't really have any followers or subscribers right now to be uploading videos two three times a week that makes no sense so I'm going to try to upload a video like maybe once a week I mean, if I'm feeling good, maybe twice. Oh, also something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. My BBL journey. So I'm going to be recording that too. 
I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to ruin it. That'll probably be my next video. So, yes, I will begin um, a BBL surgery. And it's not I'm, to all the judgmental people out there that's like, oh, she's sitting over there eating all that, you know, fat ass shit. But and all that thick ass butter. But she, you know, wants to get a BBL. Well, my BBL journey is not because of my weight. You know, I don't feel like I need to lose any weight. Mine is because of my shape and pretty much hereditary how just how my family is shaped so i just want you know to ultimately ach achieve the shape that i've always wanted so that's why i'm getting a bbl you know i don't know why anyone else is getting one so if you want to follow that journey stay tuned oh i also have my locks i'll be coming up on a gear for my locks and on the 12th of this month of march so I'm definitely going to be doing more videos about my lock hairstyles and things like that. I feel like the first year, <clears throat> excuse me, the first year of having my locks, I feel like um, you, it's not much you could do with the starter locks, you know. And it's not like you're retaining much length in that first year either. It's like your hair is just almost like shrinking. But now that I've gotten to my one year locked and my hair is locked, I feel at this point it'll just start maturing from here. So I'm going to, uh, of course, bring you guys along for my lock journey. You guys, this food is so good. I wish I could call my love, give her a hug, and tell her congratulations because, baby, she did that. I mean, she is like one of my biggest inspirations. That's why I wanted to do this video so soon. Because she was like one of my biggest inspirations. She's like a true definition of a boss, really. To go from, you know, a couple years back, not even having, you know, a sauce or even an idea. She was buying seafood from other seafood restaurants and using their sauce to... And, you know, having less than 1 million subscribers, only, a, you know, a couple hundred thousand, even though that's a lot of subscribers, you know, to having over 2 million subscribers that she has now. And she has a whole sauce that's on Amazon. You know, she's just like a true inspiration. Like, when I stop and start sitting back and thinking like, oh, well, I think maybe I'm too old to do YouTube. It's a whole lot of other younger people that's more hip and, you know, start down myself. You know, I look to people like that that has a youtube that you know started from pretty much trash that didn't really have a big you know following on facebook or instagram and that came and just pretty much did what they had to do and you know made those sacrifices and they are where they are so that's what i'm trying to get you know this is so good Like an auntie or something. Like how, oh, I almost did it again. It hit me in my eye. Almost like how Snoop always calls himself the uncle in the rap industry. Oh, look at that one right. Let's, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Oh shit, I slipped and fell. Oh, look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Let me do it again. Mm. I don't know what's good when you gotta close your eyes and curl your toes. Mm, mm, mm. I got the mile package and so um 
I got the mild because I didn't know how spicy the spicy was. And I like, I'm the type of person that likes to um, monitor <laughs> how hot my food is. I don't want it to be too hot where I can't even enjoy it or too spicy where I can't enjoy it. So, um, yeah, it's like I just added the all the other ingredients that she had on her original recipe besides the uh, seasoning. And it is the bomb diggity. Mm. I'm gonna say thank you to the people who subscribed to my channel after my last video. I said last video after my first video. No, like I got a lot of them. I really appreciate you guys. Mm. I was trying to see how long I've been out here. I eat slow. Let me shut up and try to eat a little bit faster. Mm. I didn't get crab. I just said I was going to shut up. I'm still talking, but I'm pulling the shrimp. I didn't get crab leg this time because I was really craving lobster tails. So I opted out for op lobster tails. I mean, I could have got crab legs and lobster tails, but <clears throat> that would have been a waste of money because I don't eat that much. Sometimes I'll pull this. Whatever this is, I think it looks like shit, but I don't know what this is, but I typically pull it out if I see it. If it's not like evident, like if I don't see it, like how that was, like it was already peeled open a little bit and you can see it, then I'll eat it because I can't see it. But if I can see it, I'm not eating that shit. Yeah, I don't eat a lot. I'm just probably even gonna eat all this. Whatever I don't eat, I'm just gonna save the rest for my girlfriend. Cause she was gonna do it with me, but <clears throat> she's sick. And that's another crazy thing. She's only been like coughing and sneezing a little bit, but I swore as soon as she got sick the other day, I swear she had the coronavirus. Black people are crazy. As soon as they come out with something and somebody start coughing and sneezing around you, nah, uh-uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus. I was at the 99 cent store today on my lunch break and I had walked by a baby and the baby sneezed. And y'all, I, I almost had the second second um, guess myself because I, I really wanted to say something. I had to think like that's a baby, but it's like crazy because germs have been here. Germs are all around. You're supposed to wash your hands regardless. You're supposed to make sure, you know, use paper towels to open doors and especially bathroom doors and stuff like that. I mean, like, that's regardless. But this is extra cautious now because of this coronavirus. So, yeah, she's sleeping. She would have been demolished all this stuff. She eats way faster than me. But... If you want to follow any of my journeys that I've uh, talked about previously in this video, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell because I say I'm going to post once a week, but sometimes I'll be bull spitting. So in order for you to know as soon as I post, hit the notification bell. If you like this video, like it. It really wasn't like a mukbang video. 
it really was trying to kind of reintroduce myself kind of let you guys know excuse me where i've been at and then also to put some love in your life i mean who doesn't love love and who doesn't love her sauce Mm. Boy, my mouth smells so good. Tastes so good, makes me want to smack your mama. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I made more sauce than this. I made uh, the whole bag. But. I feel like this is a perfect, I didn't need no big, huge bowl. I knew I wasn't going to eat one up. And I'm already getting full, so I'll probably put this up. Whew. Let me eat this last potato. I'm going to get three lobster tails, two corns, two potatoes. Three shrimp. That's a lot for me. I don't eat really heavy. So, if you're out there, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go find Beloved. <clears throat> Let her know that I love her. Her sauce is good. If you haven't tried it, you've been thinking about trying it. Or the seasoning. If you haven't tried the seasoning, you're thinking about trying it. Go for it. If you follow the instructions, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's really good. And she said you, if you put it in the freezer, you can freeze it for six months. And keep opening it back up. And um, I'm thawing it. So... I'm going to see how that goes. Because I know Brittany's going to want some. But once again, make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for, you know, waiting around for me to get through everything that I was going through. You know, the devil thought he had me down. But I know God has something bigger and better for me because the devil has really been working. But God has been persevering. Mwah! Stay tuned to the next video. Oh, girl.